Enfim, eu tenho aqui comigo um cara que... O pessoal, o pessoal, uma vez eu vi uma analogia que eu achei bacana, mas eu não sei nem se é correto falar. Que a ferramenta que ele fez para a computação gráfica na web é o que o jQuery fez para o JavaScript, basicamente. Então, ele facilitou o uso de WebGL é, com uma ferramenta maravilhosa e muita gente gosta. Eu queria muito entender dessas coisas, eu acho muito maravilhoso, mas não, não entendo nada de WebGL, de 3D. E a gente vai conversar um pouco com ele. Eu não sei se ele gosta de ser chamado de Ricardo ou de Dub, ou de Mr. Dub, eu vou perguntar para ele. How you like to be called? Ricardo is fine. Ricardo is fine? Yeah. Okay. A dub. Dub. So you are confusing me. Like, every single speaker up here confuses me. Ricardo is fine. Okay. Dub. <laughs> Ricardo Dub. Uh, let's, let's talk a little bit about your work and uh, your background. You probably is one of those guys that used to do graphics and stuff and came to JavaScript. And the, the beautiful thing is that you came from, gra from graphics to JavaScript and still do graphics. Mm -hmm. That's, that's awesome. So uh, tell me a little bit about 3JS and what, were, what was, why you did it. Like, that's pretty crazy code and it's like more than 60,000 60, uh, like watchers and stuff like that on GitHub. That's huge. T tell us a little about that. Actually, like to, to, my background actually is more like a graphic designer and I used to do like stuff on the demo scene more like a making graphics but I wasn't really a developer. I, was a, I started being a programmer like eight years ago, and because I needed to be a developer, I was, I was doing like the science and the stuff, and I needed some people to do. I, I was working with developers that will do the tools for me, but at some point, I, they got tired of me on my requests, so I had to be, okay, I'm gonna do it my own, and I'm gonna start developing, and I, I learned this coding thing. So it's, yeah, and then like 3JS is what is an evolution. It was it's pretty much just for me. I, I kind of started doing it for me, but I just put it online at some point. Nice, and I, I, I saw that demo scene stuff. Can you, can you introduce us, what is that? Right, um, so the demo scene is like a, a, some sort of like community, underground community. Like it was mainly like famous in, uh, in Europe, uh, which what they do, like, or what we, we do is like we, we enjoy like, tr like getting software or hardware and pushing it to the limits. So like, you know, like Commodore 64, or like Amiga, so like computers like that, we will do like some sort of like visual presentation to, that at some point we'll do something that even the guys that designed the machine didn't tell it was possible. Like we'll just like hack things or just find like different like, like ways for like doing whatever, like, like hack the, the CPU in ways that they didn't tell it was possible. And another thing that they, we also like to do is like to try to fit um, like, a lot of code or like try to create a presentation out of just one uh, very f small file size. So like we can do like amazing things in one kilobyte or just four kilobytes. Like we can have like a three minutes animation with music and like 3D on that landscape and stuff in just four kilobytes. As long as you know, we know what we're doing and like, you know, it's, it's, where, I, it's what, where I grow up. Like I, this is where I learned what I did. Like, um, like I work or what I used to work as a, as a more like a normal like a web, de um, web designer, but uh, on my spare time I will do these things that this is why, you know, it turns out to be pretty useful for them what I'm doing now. But yeah, it was good to have like a, that as a hobby. Even for a while I thought like, yeah, maybe that's not really useful, but like, no, oh, good thing. That's now amazing, thing. yeah. Uh, and uh, one last thing, uh, you ha that project, uh, you've been on that Rome, mm -hmm. like, is it right to say Rome or Rome.me? Uh, Rome, Rome is fine. Rome, yeah. 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 So Rome, uh, when I saw that the first time, it was like a punch in the face that I feel I felt like that before, only with uh, like i for you website <laughs> a long time ago. You probably know. Mm -hmm. So that was like stunning thing doing uh, using WebGL and stuff. That was like the first huge uh, using graphics and JavaScript. So tell us a little bit about that. That, that that project was kind of interesting, and and and, and I, I'm pretty like happy of that one because 
I ended up like, you know, as I was saying, like all these demos that I was doing, like I was spending all that time, like it didn't seem that useful until I ended somehow I ended up working on the project. I'm like, oh, look, all that stuff, all those, you know, 15 years that I have spent like doing this thing, now I can apply it to something. Like it's the same thing that I've been doing for all this time, so now I can just apply it. So for me, it was like, yet yeah, doing another one and, and like, yeah, you know, doing another demo, basically. Uh, but then it just, it, somehow we, I'm still kind of trying to, I uh, create more like um, um, making being being able to do more things like that, like create like a um, market for things like that, or like create like um, making it easier to do. So there are more there are more things like that on the on the web. So that one just kind of was kind of like the first one that it was kind of showing what we used to do like in native from now on the web, and like and people seem to like it. So we it's something that we we'll really want to explore a little bit more. That project is awesome. So let's go to your talk. Okay. Please. Pessoal, Ricardo Cabelo, Mr. Dubi. <laughs> 